Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So a um, couple of things we need to pay attention to. First thing is, obviously, we were on the 61.8 for quite a bit uh, during the day, and then eventually sort of broke through. And uh, we have sort of aimed for this area here at the moment. If you look to the left, you can see there's quite a bit of chaos in this area. Uh, so this is an exhaustion bar in my eyes that was formed. I want to delete that. So we, we're kind of still in that 61.8. It doesn't have to be exact. We're still in there. And the other thing that I'm seeing here, and this is pretty much on the S&P as well, and that's this wedge. I look at my oscillators. So the diversions that we had yesterday has uh, been erased. So that's out of the picture at the moment. So that's just one signal less that we have. Uh, we've gapped down, we're sort of in this zone here at 31.336, and uh, we need to pay attention to what's going on here. Not an area I want to be jumping in short if I'm trading the 8-hour or the daily. Um, so that's definitely not something I'd be paying attention to, and especially not with a, uh, a bullish wedge that's forming like this. So this is, to me at the moment, a very healthy pullback on this previous move up. We look at the 3-hour, and you can see the wedge a little bit clearer. And uh, yeah, we can actually fine tune it if I want to, but I think that is uh, more than adequate uh, to do that. But it is a fairly solid split of structure that is forming. Look at the oscillators here, grouping to the downside, um, exhaustion gap onto structure inside a wedge. Something, Something's brewing down. There's no two ways about that. And it's not something I'd want to be short on the three hour either. On the one hour, I'm also not interested in being short down here. Look at the oscillators. And now you can see the wedge a little bit better. Now I can actually, instead of taking it from there, just take it from there. And you can see we've had one fake out there. That's one, two, three, four. This is the fifth touch of this wedge. So for me, there is a level higher up, which is sort of up here which is what I was uh, sort of paying attention to yesterday, but that didn't materialize. That's 31,682. Now, the trend is down at the moment. So on our, our day trading strategies, we are looking to run with this trend. We're looking to be short. The higher time frames are telling us to be very careful with those shorts because there is potential for a bigger move to the upside. And that move may not be at the new all-time highs, but definitely uh, to bigger structure or structure on the higher time frames. So looking at the 15 minutes, yesterday was a bit of a chaotic day. There was no real opportunities. I mean, if you look at this here, this was during the open. There's no real big up, big down, big up, big down, till eventually breaking through this area and sort of having an exhaustion bar at the downside. So market closed in this area. And since then, we've sort of just drifted lower. Now, I would normally argue that we need to be looking at 31,682, but that breaks some structure, and the structure is well respected. Look there, look there. This to me is a fake out, and then it's back to respecting it. So, yeah, move up to this area would definitely be interesting, but uh, I don't think I'd be wanting to be short of that area. I uh, don't think that's the right play. This area here is definitely something to pay attention to. That's 31,514. Uh, that closes the gap. There's a bit of structure here. So that, and it comes up to the trend line. So there is an opportunity for a 100 point stop loss or 140 point gain to come and visit this area to the downside. However, we do have some data coming out today. We've got. Um, jobs number today and then we've got non-farm payrolls tomorrow uh, and any one of those two could be a catalyst that the bulls are waiting for it could also be a catalyst that the bears are waiting for but as far as i'm concerned at the moment this is not an area i want to get involved in i do not want to be short down here um, it's just foolish being short down here i want to be short higher up of structure and both bits of structure when you look at it on the hour are basically uh, breaking the wedge so the only other thing that would fool me with confidence is by doing that. So it's a, not a wedge, it's a channel. So that gives me the ability to 
not even look that high but that gives me the ability to look at this level here at 31.682 I suppose you could also argue anything up in this zone here at 31.850 to 31.972 but 31.972 has had two touches already so we had a touch there yesterday so this is the range this should be the opportunity here and I just want to see how high this range is. It's 300 points. You should look at you know, a little bit lower than where we are now. So that's the only bit of structure that I can see at the moment. Um, the risk is just too high as far as I'm concerned. So any move back up to this area and we start getting inside bars, engulfing bars or pin bars. So that's 31.684. Probably worth the, the short uh, and then just keep your stop as tight as possible. If this level gives way, then the only next log logical level is going to be up here, and that's 31.972. Uh, it could be a you know, just form a, a, a channel, or alternatively, it could be the break of the wedge. Difficult to ascertain which one it's going to be. So I think for me, the Dow is a sit on hands. I'll stay away from it. Um, there's a bit of structure on the S&P and the DAX, which is worth looking at, but this one is not clear, and uh, I'd rather err on the side of caution at the moment, especially with what I'm seeing on the bigger time frames here. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.